Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look into the solution of the problem number 589 that is an Eritrea pre-order traversal. But before we look into the solution, let me remind you of the Edignite NGO Discord server that has been created by Prince Verma sir, an alumni of Edignite NGO. Over here, you can ask your doubts as well as discuss topics related to IT field and yes so we'll also post some important updates and some useful content from the topics related to the same field so what are you waiting for join this particular discord server right away with the link given in the description below and yes don't forget that all the solutions all the lead code solutions will be given over here right into this particular discord server with the video links so please join this particular discord server from the link given in the description below and share it with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation now coming back to an eritrea pre-order traversal over here i have copied the question so let us move to the whiteboard and look over the question here we are given root of an eritre. What is an eritre? An eritre in an eritre a node can have zero to n number of children. It can have two, three, four, n number of children. Okay, and n can be any integer. So this is an eritre. Okay, and over here, over here, you see that it is represented in the level order traversal each group of children is separated by a null value okay so you see that each group is separated in the input it is separated by null value so this is the first level then 3 to 4 is the second level and 5 6 is the third level okay so now what do we need to return we need to return pre-order traversal of of an eritre if you remember about binary tree then in binary tree, what we had in binary tree for the pre-order of traversal of binary tree was first we just took the root, okay. Then we had left value and then right value, okay. Over here also we need to do similar thing, okay. So first we move to root, okay. We take the value of root and then we take the value of the leftmost child, okay. So, leftmost child is 3. And then children, okay, leftmost child, okay. Then the leftmost child of this 3, so it's 5, okay. Now, as 5 does not have its leftmost child, so we return back to 3 and then we look at 6, okay. So, now we need to look at 6 and then we come back, we come back and then we will write 2. Okay, then we will write 2 and then we write 4. Okay, then we write 4. So, it is 1, 3, 5, 6, 2, 4 as it is given over here. Okay, so how to, how to actually code this? Okay, so what we will do is, let me just uh, draw it once again. Okay, so it's over here, we have 3, then over here we have 2, then over here let us have four okay over here let us have five then let us have six then let us have seven okay let us have seven so over here when we need to call it we need to have a recursive function okay let us say let us say that we we have an array named traversal okay name traversal so what we will do as soon as we come to 1, we will push the value of 1 into traversal. Okay, we will push the value of 1 into traversal. Then we will go to child of 1. Okay, we will go to child of 1. So now we now we are at child of 1. So we will push its value first of all. Okay, then again we will go to its child. Okay, we will go to its child. Now here you see that we have 5. Now we will go to 5's child. As 5 child is null, so we will return back. Okay. We will return back. Now after returning, what we will do is, we will just 
delete this value okay so now when we have deleted this value now we have when we have deleted the value of 5 the leftmost child is 6 leftmost child is 6 so we will write 6 we will return the function as it does not have as 6 does not have any child and then we will delete it then we will delete the value okay now what we will do is we will write 7 okay so we will follow the same procedure for 7 so then we need to we need to delete it we need to delete it okay then then we will move up now we are moved up now we don't have 3 does not have any child okay so the function will return okay so the function will obviously be returned so now what will happen is we will just remove this 3 okay then we have 2 okay then we have 2 we will remove this particular 2 okay and then we have 4 okay then we have 4 then we will remove this 4 okay and at last we don't have anything so at last we'll remove 1 and then return the traversal array return the traversal array so this is the array that we need to this is the array that we need to return okay so let us write pseudocode for this particular problem for this particular problem okay so over here over here before in the class itself in the class itself we will first create an array named a vector named traversal okay as we are in c plus plus so we need to create a vector okay so we, we will create a vector okay then what we will do is we, we need to have a function okay so function let us call it pre-order okay pre-order so it's pre-order which will take root okay which will take root that is a node okay that is a node root node which will take the root node okay first of all we need to push the value into traversal okay so we will push the value of root into traversal so traversal dot push traversal dot push value of root okay so we will just write root value oops sorry i need to check okay so root value let me just uh, write uh, it in a better way root value okay we need to push the root value then what we will do then what we will do we will just write while okay so we will have a while we will run a while loop. while we the root is not equal to null okay or while the root okay while the root all the children of the root are present okay while a single child of a root is present so over here we will just write root then we have children okay so we have children of this particular root children dot front okay children dot front that is while a root has even a single child okay while the root has even a single child what you do is you run the pre-order traversal for that child of root okay so you run the pre-order traversal for the first child of root so i'll just write root root then we will write children okay root children the first child of that particular so we will give front okay the front most child okay front most child that is the left most child of that group okay then what we need to do we need to erase we need to delete the root okay so we will just write we will just write root children root root children root children dot erase okay dot erase the erase function okay erase is a is a function of vectors in c plus plus what does it do it takes the iterator or it takes the address of um, a particular element and erases that element from the vector okay so erase and over here we need to give the iterator so the iterator will be the beginning of that particular array or that particular vector okay so root then children C H I L D R E N children dot begin okay 
root children dot begin so now the value has been erased okay and run the loop we are running the while loop until we are running the while loop until the root as eat the root as a child okay if the root will not have a child so we will move out of the while loop will move out of the while loop okay so this way this way we can we can just push into traversal okay we we can write the code of traversal now what we need to do we need to wrap this particular function we need to wrap the whole function okay we need to wrap the whole function in a statement okay we need to wrap the whole function in a statement we need to run the statement only when root is not null okay when root is not null okay when root is not null if root is null then we need to simply return the traversal okay so what what we will do is we will just write over here after after this condition we will write return traversal return traversal return traversal so this is the whole pseudo code for n array tree pre ordered traversal okay so now let us move to the lead code and code our solution okay so let us move to lead code and over here and pre order traversal let us code all the things okay so if if first of all we need to write root okay if root is not null okay so if root is not null we can have a null value over here so if root is not null then we need to push it okay so traversal dot push back push underscore back okay traversal dot push underscore back and yes we need to create a vector over here now we are creating a vector inside the class as to have a a block scope okay to have a full global scope and not only the function scope for that particular vector okay so we will declare it globally vector in traversal vector in traversal so we need to push it okay so over here we need to push the value of root root value okay now we have pushed the value of root we will run the while loop okay so while root then we will have children okay c h i l d r e n children okay while root has the frontmost children while root has even one single child okay while root has at least one child run the things okay so first of all first of all we need to run pre order traversal for that particular child so we will write pre order okay pre order root c h i l d r e n children dot front root children dot front and then then we will erase it okay so we will write root root children c h i l d r e n children dot erase erase root root dot begin root dot begin okay sorry root children dot begin okay so we need to write children children array of that particular root dot begin okay so we need to erase we need to go on erasing a single single child of that particular root okay so this is the full code this is the closing bracket for while loop this is for if if statement and now we need to return traversal traversal okay we need to return traversal so let us return traversal and then let us run the code and check if this works okay okay so we have a compile error over here okay yes so over here i have forgotten the semicolon okay so let us run the code again and let us check if the thing works okay so let us check it okay so we have a run time error because here we are going on raising it and then we are just accessing the element okay so while root children dot empty okay let us write the function empty so while the children of the root aren't empty while they aren't a m t y m t while the children aren't empty just run the particular function okay so let us 
then run the code and let us know okay so the solution has been accepted okay now let us submit the code and look into the uh, thing okay okay so it's a success so this was about nra tree pre-order traversal that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone